Have you been taking the pills I prescribed you? Uh, yeah, took two Monday. So you took two today? No, nah, Monday. Carlos, today is Monday. <laughs> you know what? That's all this training I've been doing. I just got my days mixed up. This ain't no big deal. Have you been experiencing any memory loss, uh, social inabilities? No. Any erratic behavior recently? No. Are you familiar with chronic traumatic encephalopathy? It's a degenerative disease found in people who, who suffered repeated blows to the head. Carlos. This is your brain. Obviously, you can see the extreme damage this Yeah, yeah, come on. My brother got something similar, right? Doc, this is boxing. That type of shit come with it. My father was a fighter. He had it. His daddy was a boxer. He was fucked up. I'm pretty sure I come from a long line of a bunch of fucked up motherfuckers. That's the thing, though. Doc, a true fighter, know how to fight through the pain. You get hit, you hit back harder. You get knocked out, you get up and knock him the fuck out. You hit him so hard, make him not even want to fight no more. And ain't no pill is going to change that. Carlos. As your friend, forget the doctor's orders. This is me talking to you as a friend. Another serious hit to the head, and it can land you in the hospital for good. Possibly even kill you. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Hanna, but I think I know what I'm doing, all right? Yeah, just like Hector knew what he was doing. <laughs> you know, my father couldn't get licensed to fight in the United States. He's too young. So when he turned 15, he traveled way on down to Mexico, started taking fights there. There's a whole lot of bad knuckle shit. The rules were simple. No rounds, and you fight until you can't stand no more. My father told me some of the best fighters he ever seen in his life was right down there in Mexico. So much so that he named his two little black boys Carlos and Hector. He get murdered some years later. Me and Hector grew up on the streets. No education. No family, no nothing. Just us and these. We had to fight for our food. We had to fight for our beds. But most importantly, we had to fight for our life. Dr. Hannah, fighting is in my blood. It's the only thing I know how to do. Now my brother, Hector, is a good fighter, but he ain't half what I am when I step inside that ring. Who's gonna take care of that kid if you can barely walk? You know what? Do what you want. The commission rules state that I can only advise you on if you should fight. I can't stop it. Only you can do that. Sometimes the biggest fights are those that take place outside the ring. Have a nice day, Dr. Hannah. 